Creating an account on the skodaconnect.com portal is step number one of the registration process. You'll find the link to the Skoda Connect portal on the importer's website or enter www.skoda-connect.com. Completing this step will enable you to make full use of the functions provided by the Skoda Connect services. The only thing you need for the registration is your email account. Enter www.skoda-connect.com, select country and language and click on continue. Click on the create user account button. Enter your email address and password and then confirm the password. Confirmation email sent notification is displayed after clicking on continue. Open the confirmation email from noreply at skodaconnect.com and click on the finish registration link. The skodaconnect.com portal reopens, confirming that your account has been verified. Sign in with your email address and password. You can now continue the registration process. Enter your personal data, first name, surname, home address and so on. Tick the box to consent to the terms of use for the user account and the privacy policy. That's it, your account has been created. To activate the services in the vehicle, you'll need to pair it with your newly created account. Wait until you know your vehicle's VIN number. Activating Skoda Connect functionality via your newly created account on the Skoda Connect portal when taking possession. Sign in to your account on skoda-connect.com. The Connect portal displays a screen for entering the vehicle identification number, often known as the VIN or chassis number. If you are unsure where to find your vehicle's VIN number, a guide is available on the This Manual link. Enter the VIN code and click on Continue. The Connect portal displays a list of services that you order with a new car for one year for free. These services are determined by the vehicle configuration and the type of your infotainment system. You need to tick the box to consent to the terms and conditions. Click on Continue. The Connect portal generates an activation PIN that you need to enter into the infotainment system in your vehicle. This PIN is valid for 14 days. The link how to enter the registration code to infotainment provides step-by-step -step instructions for how to enter the PIN to the infotainment system. You need to set up data connectivity in your vehicle before pairing the vehicle with the account on the Skoda Connect portal. Four connection options are available. Wi-Fi hotspot created via your mobile phone, LTE module, USB car stick, and Bluetooth RSAP. The choice depends on the type of your navigation system. With the Amundsen system, you can either use a Wi-Fi hotspot or the USB car stick. With the Columbus, it's either a Wi-Fi hotspot, the LTE module, or Bluetooth RSAP. To set up connection using the LTE module or the USB car stick, proceed as follows. Insert a data-enabled SIM card size Mini 2FF into the SIM slot in the LTE module. The slot is located in the bottom one of the two dashboard glove compartments opposite the passenger seat. Car stick. Insert the car stick into one of the vehicle's USB ports, i.e. in the center console. The infotainment display shows the following dialog windows to gradually enable you to choose the connection mode, either data only or data plus phone calls, configure the network settings, roaming on and off, or data connection mode. This action activates the signal icon in the top bar. The vehicle is connected. To set up a connection using a Wi-Fi hotspot, proceed as follows. Activate the hotspot function in your data-enabled mobile phone or use some other existing network. Select the Settings and WLAN on the infotainment display. Select the required network and enter the network key. The vehicle will now be connected.
Having successfully completed your registration on the Škoda Connect portal, you need to activate this service in your vehicle. Check that your vehicle is connected. Press Menu in the navigation system. Select Settings, Škoda Connect Online Services, and Registration. Enter the PIN code generated during the portal activation and press OK. The infotainment system confirms that the Škoda Connect services have been activated in the vehicle and that the vehicle has been paired with the respective account.